Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more World of Warships and today we are saying goodbye to the Z-23, the tier 8 German destroyers. We are playing on shards, we have a Alabama, Bismarck, Amagi, two Dunkirks, Charles Montel, Algerie, Miyoko, Leander, Galley, Z-23, and a Shiratsu on the enemy team. There is a North Carolina, two Turpets, Dunkirk, Chapaya, Belfast, Algerie, Cleveland, Galley, Harikaze, Mahan, and a Hatsuharu. And I will have to say this this battle becomes very close at the very end um, as you are working or er, working good lord I just looked at chat and instantly took one of those words over there um, As you may know the German destroyers have got a bad rap and I, I can understand that working up through the German destroyers it takes a lot of patience and really really does take a lot of patience because it's frustrating it can be extremely frustrating uh with the german destroyers and the z23 including um the uh previous tier they they are starting to feel a little bit more comfortable uh the z23 that i am currently running does have the 150 millimeter uh guns so that does allow her to do a little bit more damage. It also has a higher fire chance. But also you lose the ability of having a fast reload as well as a fast turn rate. So as you saw there, uh, there is a enemy destroyer in C. Our team is at least down one destroyer. And there is the enemy Mahan. Now this is actually surprising. I'm out spotting a Mahan. I uh, was not expecting it. The Z-23 has a detection of 6.2 kilometers. Uh, so it's it's not particularly common that you're able to actually outspot stuff, but in this case uh, we were. And there is the enemy Harikaze. Looks like he is pushing forward. I do drop smoke. Uh, did not know where other ships were. And yes, it looks like the Turpets is secondaries are opening up. Do you have to be careful of the Harikaze's torpedoes? Um, that's probably a good opportunity to drop them. Um, do have my hydroacoustics now the hydroacoustics is nice but it is not the German Hydra that is something to keep in mind it only has a 4.4 ship acquisition range and I believe a 3.3 .3 torpedo acquisition so it's not as good as it would well better yet as I would like it to be I can understand why they got nerfed uh, but we are at least still detecting the enemy Mahan who is currently hiding behind the island in his smoke screen and it looks like there's finally a few ships that do have the right angle for it. And there's the enemy Chapayev. Do not want to deal with that ship at all. Um, Russian cruisers, the Chapayev and the Bajoni are really scary. Um, and the stores. Yes, can't forget the stores. Uh, so, gotta be careful of him. Would like to take out this Mahan. Looks like he's actually finally starting to push out. And look at this HE. 1,815, not too bad. The HE on German destroyers can be lackluster, but the benefit is the fact that even if the destroyer is not showing you a lot of broadside, uh, it still can do damage, while the AP is definitely the superior option when dealing with any broadside ships, including cruisers, as uh, there might be a possible example of this later on go into too many details uh it looks like there is another enemy ship that is currently in b uh the enemy team have taken control of c and are starting to push down but more than likely the uh shirats no not the shiratsu you the harikaze is actually probably in the cap at the moment um just need to be a little bit careful uh gotta be also aware that there are possible torpedoes inbound for our friendly bismarck at the best opportunity we need to try to spot those torpedoes to assist our friendly bismarck now i'm not surprised or i better yet there he is and there are the torpedoes um kind of surprised the bismarck did not have his hydroacoustics up um uh, maybe he reused it and it was just on cooldown possibly but one little side thing is with the 150 millimeters on the Z23, you actually get an additional gun. So the you go from four having four guns to having five guns, and having that additional gun does help pump out that 
damage output. And look at that fire on the Hatsuharu. And this is a nice thing about the 150 millimeters is the fact that your fire chance is actually 12% versus, I believe, originally like 5 or 6%, something like that. But we do get the kill, our very first kill of the game. And we do have our smoke, so we're going to go ahead and drop it. Now, obviously, the smoke on the German destroyers are lackluster. Um, they only have about a 70 second... Uh, duration something like that so we do have to be well aware that you can't camp smoke it is nothing like a usn destroyer so do have to be extremely careful on that fact uh the harikaze is being spotted and detected i'm trying to get turned around so possibly i can get some torpedoes off on him uh if anything else get some guns off on this harikaze he has gone invisible when i had popped my hydro just so I can see where he is. And it looks like his engine is out. Got some shots on him. Nice. Knocked off 1,800 points of damage there. And can we finish off this Harikaze? If we can get rid of him, uh, that's going to be one less major threat uh, for our ships. Unfortunately for us, uh, I was the one spotting, spotting him. But we do get a fire. And he is able to get behind the island. But obviously there is a Chapai of incoming. And that's again one ship I do not really want to see very often. But we get the kill on the Harikaze with that fire. And now the enemy team no longer has any destroyers. Now I'm the only destroyer on the friendly team. And the friendly team has taken full control of A. Uh, the eastern side of the map, the friendly team has kind of kept them from really pushing but we have just lost our alabama and now it is a good time to get behind this island because we are being radared right now by the chapaya who i i will have to say i i hate and like radar at the exact same time i really do understand that radar is a very valuable tool it's it was put in the game because cruisers had a very difficult um Time actually spotting any enemy destroyers or hunting them down so that radar does allow uh, the opportunity to actually hunt them down as well as see them at smoke screens. But it can, it can be annoying when you're a destroyer and you're being radared, um, not really expecting it. But once again, it's kind of a needed evil, I guess you could say. Now, our team, I, I, I have to say, I don't know what happened but good thing i'm going back through this replay so uh the enemy team has uh, turpits north carolina dunkirk chapaya belfast and cleveland we have an amagi dunk two dunkirks algeria at miyoko and leander so they have two tier eight battleships to r1 and they have essentially most actually about the same as far as cruisers and what types but obviously i'm the only destroyer still left alive so we're going to try our best. The Z-23 can be a decent torpedo boat. So the uh, torpedoes are decently sp speed, or better yet, has a decent speed on them, around 65 knots, if memory does serve me. Uh, the guns can be somewhat lackluster, uh, but they can prove beneficial, uh, especially lighting fires, and the armor piercing is pretty decent. So... Uh, we have full control of A and B uh, that should start to help us pull forward and there is about 10 minutes left on the map at this time and I'm just trying to get into range of possibly dropping some torpedoes. would like to get this Chapayev. This Chapayev is at least a good option especially since considering he does have radar and there we have just lost our uh, Moggy. And all that's left on our t on our team is the two Dunkirks, the Lander, and a Algerie. Uh, their North Carolina is very low on health. Uh, looks like the Dunkirks are firing HE at the North Carolina, uh, trying to get that fire damage. Trying to be a little bit careful. Once again, trying to get uh, torpedoes off on this Chapayev. If we can get rid of him, that would be very beneficial for us. Um... Uh, because, yes, once again, like I said, uh, Chapayev radar, not fun to deal with when you're a destroyer. So, uh, Dunkirk's have taken out the North Carolina. 
he was pretty much out of position. He had, I believe, three ships firing at him. So he was not uh, very well meant for this world. Now, talking about the torpedoes, like I said, they are decent. They have the fastest reload rate as far as a tier 8 is concerned. Uh, you have eight torpedoes, four each on each torpedo tube. And like I said, they're decently sped. Uh, they go around 65 knots. They have a 9.5 kilometer range, so not bad as far as range. Just half 500 meters less than a Japanese destroyer of the same team. But they are kind of lackluster as far as their damage output. They kind of lack the real punch that you see, at least with the Japanese and USN destroyers. Uh, and that's kind of the bad thing, but once again, the torpedo reload rate is fairly nice. We're almost reloaded on torpedoes. Uh, we have about 30 seconds left, and unfortunately for us, the Chapayev uh, was able to dodge those torpedoes. I believe a plane spotted them, and obviously he was able to dodge them. Uh, enemy Dunkirk. Fairly full on health. <laughs> um, don't think I'm going to have the real major opportunity to uh, do damage trying to slow up right now to get some torpedoes off against this Dunkirk fortunately for me I just just get by this island and so I'm actually gonna go ahead and speed up and possibly go after this turpits this turpits yeah well I kind of wondering I mean considering he does have two kills four kills actually I probably shouldn't say he's a derpitz. He's actually probably a decent player. Um, he's done a really good job as far as taking out enemy ships. So I might want to go after him. Uh, my, the uh, friendly teams to take on this Dunkirk. They should be able to take him on. Uh, especially if they do not show their broadside. Um, we do have a friendly Dunkirk kind of running away. Now there is... A Belfast and Belfast can be well they can be a ship that you particularly don't want to meet and there is the enemy turpits finally spotted Let's see can we line up our torpedoes slowing down just so I can get all eight torpedoes off on this turpice now obviously this turpice is is aware that there is a possible destroyer um, but he doesn't quite know where I am at. I haven't been seen for a little while. I think the last time I was seen was down over at, uh, B. And unfortunately, <coughs> my torpedoes run right into an island and I lose three from the very first salvo and one from the second. So, even if they do land, I think, yep, there we go. And we got one. Trying to be careful. It does look like he did get some flooding. And I'm going to go ahead and slow down and uh, obviously pop my smoke. I'm going to pull forward just a bit just so I can get more of my guns off. Now the obviously downside of the Z-23's placement on the guns is at least three-fourths of their guns are in the rear of the ship. And that can be slightly prob problematic when trying to get all guns off at a time. Now the Dunkirk obviously saw me and freaked out, expecting torpedoes. And so he is obviously speeding away. So we're going to switch over to high explosive and go ahead and show off the potential of the fire chance. Like I probably should mention, fire or er, HE damage is kind of lackluster on the... Uh, destroyer, German destroyer line. Do you have to be aware? And this is something I did not really pay attention. Is the fact that there is still a Belfast uh, around here somewhere. And he's probably coming back around. Uh, we do finally capture the base. Uh, we are actually down uh, two of our ships. There's only two of us left on the enemy team. And oh crap. <laughs> that is a Belfast. Went ahead, switched over to AP. Uh, just gonna have to try to get out of the way as quick as possible. 
look at that. Two Citadels and one dead Belfast. Uh, but fortunately for me, ooh, pretty big hit there. I'm going to have to try to get out of here as quick as possible. Um, torpedoes on the turbots do land at least one do cause some flooding uh but right now all i'm concerned about is pulling away and not showing up for a little bit longer but fortunately for me that chapayev is not in a very particularly helpful position for his team and here i'm just trying to get a fire on that turbots uh but unfortunately for me do not get any such luck we have just lost our Dunkirk, but for, fortunately for us, our friendly Dunkirk has taken out uh, the enemy Dunkirk. Now I am obviously being currently spotted by the uh, sh the plane right now. Right now, I really, really need to get away. His secondaries are opening up against me, but I think we should be safe. I believe we're outside of his range, and now... We are no longer detected, and we are winning on points. We have three caps. We have 784 points, and there's still two ships left are alive. Now, obviously, our team is uh, trying to tell me to stay alive. I'm well aware I'm not going to, obviously, take any possible risk of uh, being killed. Uh, the most major threat against me right now is the enemy turpits. Would like to take him out. Don't get me wrong. Definitely would enjoy the fact of dumping some torpedoes on him. Um, but do have to be careful just in case he does come around that island. Because it is possible that he has turned around. But right now the enemy team does not look like it's actually pushing into any caps. Now there was once again a Chapayev still alive uh, far down south. I would assume that he would push into B and try to start to cap it. Now there is about two minutes left on the time at the moment. And our only major hope as far as winning is either by points, which we are definitely uh, bringing up the points quite nicely. Look at that, nine points per tick. And there is now almost 300 point difference between us and the enemy team. And yes, <laughs> The Bismarck's like, you are in the open. It's a destroyer. It has a low detectability. Not likely I'll get spotted. Uh, so we're we're gonna win this. This was kind of a close game, uh, close turnaround. Fortunately, was able to take out that Belfast, but Belfast uh, was probably the most dangerous aspect of this battle, uh, being that close quarter. But with the 150 millimeters and AP. Did pretty well against that Belfast to come out, and it does not look like the team is in any position to go for caps. I, I don't exactly know why, because yes, right there, we're at 991, one more tick, and that will be game. So I will see you guys in the victory screen. So our team earned a victory, we brought home 314,599 silver, 6,413 XP, we did 71,384 damage, we did 84 shell hits, 2 torpedo hit, 3 incapacitation, 3 kills, 3 flat fires, 3 floods, 2 citadels, 2 defended base caps, and 1 captured base. We are on top of the team with a base XP of 2,885. We did around 9,000 against the Hazaharu, around 6,000 against the Harakaze, and around 6,000 against the Belfast, 24,000 against the Turpets, 15,000 against the Dunkirk, and 5,000 against the North Carolina. Our fire chance, once again, is definitely a lot higher with the 150 millimeter shells. Uh, they did bring us 7,635 fires. Our HE did around 28,000 points of damage and AP did around 12,000 points of damage. So overall, I'm definitely liking the Z23. Um, I'm definitely liking the 150 yeah, millimeter shells, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to the Z46. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the port and take a look at the stats. See you guys there. All right, everyone, welcome back to the port. And I have to say, Z23 is definitely a huge improvement over the Moss and Ernst Gade. Uh, I definitely really do like the Z23 quite, quite a bit. It's definitely grown on me. Uh, so let's quickly take a look at the stats. Survivability, you have 19,500, which is 
beautiful to have. It's definitely one of the more tankier ships, although she is kind of a bulky ship overall, so that is something to definitely keep in mind. Uh, AP damage is your number one enemy. Uh, even though HE obviously does a significant amount of damage, AP from battleships can outright take away the majority of your health. And if you are super unlucky, can take you out uh, in one salvo. Moving on to the guns. Well, actually the guns is something rather interesting. This I will actually have to explain as we take a look at the potential of the gun types she can have. So when you first get her, she will have the 128 millimeters. These are generally what you normally see on destroyers. Uh, they are obviously a much smaller caliber. Uh, they have a much higher reload rate, 3.6 seconds and turn time is 17.1 but the z23 just like the ernst gade has a potential of giving getting much larger guns and i almost would say i like the 150 millimeters more so than the 128 millimeters the only obvious downside is the reload time the reload time is almost double uh it is 6.7 seconds versus 3.6 and the turn time of the guns is definitely a little bit slower at 20.7 seconds now the benefit is obviously the damage max he damage is 2200 while ap will do 3700 and you have the potential of actually citadeling more heavily armored cruisers uh than any light cruisers that you would only be able to do with the 128 millimeters so the benefit of these guns is well one you actually get one additional gun because with the 128 millimeters if we quickly slap that on you'll notice that the front gun only has one gun so with the 150 millimeters you actually have the potential of having an additional gun that can help with your firepower now the main guns they have a reload time of 6.7 seconds turn time is 20.7 seconds as i pointed out max he damage is 2200 but this is where it's really beneficial is the fire chance 12 percent if we get take a look at the 128 millimeters they only have a fire chance of six percent which is once again really beneficial ap damage is 3700 once again with the potential of actually citadeling more heavily armored cruisers such a such as a takao or belfast as you saw there even though a belfast does have lightly armored armor now the velocity on the shells they tend to be a kind of a mixture between a usn and a russian line so i would almost say almost kind of close to the imperial japanese line they kind of have a loftiness to them but at the exact same time it's not as bad as the united states navy destroyers are uh max velocity is 835 meters per second so that's something to keep in mind uh range is 10.8 which is pretty decent now moving on to torpedoes Torpedoes, you have two quintuple 533 millimeters. Reload time is 90 seconds. One of the fastest, if not the fastest, reload time on a tier 8 destroyer. Uh, turn time is 6 seconds. Max damage is 14,400. That in lies the problem with the German destroyers is the fact that they don't do as much damage as, say, the Japanese destroyer line or even the USN destroyer line. Uh, but the reload time is nice. It does allow you to get another salvo off fairly quickly. Uh, the range is pretty decent at 9.5 kilometers and the stealth is 1.4 kilometers. A little bit less than obviously the USN, but still pretty decent as far as, as torpedoes go. Now they do have a 66 knot, which is pretty good speed. Does get to target fairly quickly. Moving on to AA defense. Well, I mean, it's... It's nothing too extravagant. Uh, you have two dual 20 millimeters. Average damage is 10 with the two kilometer range. Then you have four quintuple 
29 average damage with the two kilometer range and then you have four dual 37 millimeters average damage is 49 with a 3.5 kilometer range now i will have to say the aa is not extravagant but you can at least shoot some planes down uh if you do need to normally i wouldn't recommend it but it is there if you do now max speed is pretty decent 37 knots Definitely a lot better than the Imperial Japanese Destroyers. Uh, almost about the same as the Benson, I believe. Very, very close to it. Uh, turning Soaker Radius is kind of big, 680 meters. Uh, she's kind of a fat ship. She doesn't really turn that tightly, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, something also to think about is that with these much larger guns the guns don't stay on target when you are hard maneuvering and when you are trying to get some shots off while you're also trying to ensure that you don't take hits uh, your guns will tend to pull away from target rudder shift time is 4.5 seconds which is not too bad definitely nothing compared to the benson's 1.8 seconds it can get to uh, moving on to concealment this is kind of kind of a good thing and bad thing a good thing is detectability range by c is kind of in middle of the road 6.2 kilometers uh not the stealthiest uh definitely not anyway compared to the kiev uh at around seven kilometers but it will be detected by any higher tier benson usn japanese line uh, since they have a much better detectability than the Z-23. Now the major downside is her range by air is 3.5, which is quite large. And you do have a tendency to get spotted by aircraft. So do keep that in mind uh, when there is a carrier or any cruiser with aircraft. More than likely you will actually get spotted by those aircraft. Moving on to the modules, what I would recommend when you first get her is get the torpedo. Uh, this will really prove viable, especially since the German destroyers kind of act more like a torpedo boat than a gunboat. Uh, at least that is my opinion. I'm not saying the guns are terrible, especially if you do get the 150 millimeters. They do have a potential of causing those fires, which is really nice compared to, say, the USN destroyer line. Uh, probably recommend go for the guns, then the hole, and then the range. You really don't want to always go for the range, especially since they did nerf the invisibility uh, fire or visifier for that matter. So moving on to the consumables, obviously she is the German destroyer line and does have the hydroacoustics. Now the hydroacoustics is not the full strength German hydro that you see on cruisers. The detectability of ships is 4.44 kilometers while the torpedo acquisition is 3.12 kilometers. But this does allow you to push into enemy smoke and allow you to take them out while they're sitting in smoke while not being detected and this is actually a good technique when you are being chased down by another destroyer that is pushing in is slow down pop your smoke and probably should go ahead and point out that this is german smoke and german smoke well they re really do suck at smoking uh the smoke screen is only active for 69 seconds that is a very short duration time and does not allow you to really sit in smoke and constantly harass while not being detected but if you pop your smoke and then pop your hydro while a destroyer or another cruiser is pushing in you can use this to your advantage to constantly opening up on them allowing you to deal damage so that is one good tactic to go for now as far as upgrades it's actually very consistent with what i normally do for destroyers moving on to the captain skills my captain is not a full tier captain obviously uh still a work in progress now for your very first skill i almost say go for priority target I really do enjoy this skill, especially on my destroyers, knowing when you need to pull away or better yet, how many ships are aiming at you. Preventative maintenance is nice. It does reduce the incapacitation of module by 30%, but priority target is also a very nice 
captain skill to have. Uh, moving on to the second one, I would probably always go for last stand. Last stand, then expert marksman, which is nice, but unfortunately does not help for the Z23 since I am currently running the 150 millimeters and only turns the guns 0.7 degrees per second instead of the 2.5 degrees. Uh, the third tier superintendent get the additional smoke, hydro, and engine boost. And then basics firing training. I did go for this, but this was when I had the Moss and the Moss had smaller guns. If you do run the 150 millimeters and do decide to keep the Z23, do not go for the skill if you are running the 150 millimeters. Uh, this will not benefit your guns at all. So do keep that in mind. Uh, concealment expert, always a must uh, for destroyers. Always have that low detectability. Uh, and eventually I will probably possibly survivability expert as this will increase my health. I could also go for torpedo armament expertise, which will increase the reload time on my torpedoes. I could go for demolition expert. It really comes down to what the later tiers are going to be. Well, better yet how they will be played uh so this is still a work in progress but we'll see what will come as we get the z46 and this is going to be it for the z23 thank you guys so much for watching and if you like what you saw hit the like and subscribe button you guys have a great and fantastic day zai